probably going to let you tell this story because to me it's amazing. And then I'm going to jump in towards the end to tell people why it's so incredible. So um, back to you, pal. First of all, thank you. I get shy sometimes when you you say it like that, but I appreciate it. I, I essentially grew up in Sweden, did my medical school. Initially, I got a research fellowship out of Harvard. And then so I came here just to do my research fellowship. And then once I stayed, I also decided to do an internal medicine residency program because here in America, just because you have an MD behind your name without a without any type of specialty, it doesn't really mean much. So I decided to do internal medicine and my research fellowship. That led, I was we were very lucky. We published a lot. We developed a drug. We went into the pharmaceutical business. And then, um, and then but I always wanted to do plastic surgery. So once I finished my internal medicine and and my research was kind of stabilized. Um, I had to work three years at Yale to get my green card, so I did that. But once that was done, and I was pretty much a green card holder, now I knew that I should apply for plastic surgery. That was always my vision and passion. And I did, and I matched at Brown University, and I had six years of amazing training. Hence, shout out to all my mentors, uh, Dr. Zenovitz, Dr. Brewing, Dr. Lou, all those who really trained me well, and volume the volumes of cases were, were, were very hard on me but but they were hard on me for a reason stay tuned for new episodes coming soon